With so many different styles of yoga available out there, it's no surprise you might be confused about what type of yoga you should try first. There is no right or wrong answer, as each style will offer you a different experience, so it's really up to you to make a choice. Perhaps you're looking to tone your muscles without having to move around a lot. Or you might be looking for a class more focused around breathing or relaxing your muscles. Maybe you're looking for an energetic workout, or perhaps you're into acrobatics. So, where is all this variety coming from? Is there an original yoga? Well, you may be aware that yoga is a very ancient practice. However, the first type of systematic practice that came to be known is Hatha Yoga, and it can be traced back to the 11th century AD approximately. Hatha Yoga texts were the first ones to include descriptions of different postures along with breathing and meditation techniques. Hatha Yoga is about holding postures for some time because the original goal of the practice was to help build strength in order to prepare the body for long meditation periods. Hatha Yoga paved the way for all the other types of yoga that later on emerged. Another well-known style is Ashtanga, perhaps the most energetic one. This practice creates a lot of heat in the body by combining holding postures for a few breaths and including dynamic transitions called vinyasas. Finally, taking anatomy at the center of the practice, Iyenga yoga, perhaps the most technical style, focuses on proper posture alignment and relies on the use of props to make each posture accessible to all bodies in all conditions. But what about Kundalini yoga, hot yoga, acro yoga? All these can be considered variations of both Hatha and Ashtanga, mainly because yoga has also evolved and adapted to the needs of the modern lifestyle. So let's explore these more in detail. Mm -hmm.